I would do a really quick video, especially since I haven't done one for ages, just um, telling you my plans for our Easter egg hunt tomorrow. It's easier for us to have it at home for a number of reasons. One, because of accessibility for Alyssa, and two, because Freddie can't have chocolate. So most places you go, they're, they're chocolate treats. So it's a bit sad and you have to prepare and bring your own stuff. And um, So this way, it's kind of, both my kids are catered for. <laughs> and um, I've, I've set it up, it's gonna be quite easy. It's not gonna be a lot of effort for me. Um, but I hope the kids all have a really good time. So what I'm planning to do is, I have over the years collected these fillable eggs. I used to fill these with toys and treats like a car or a bouncy ball or whatever for Freddie. But now um, I, th I have decided that to put them out empty is enough. They're not caring about what's, they just like finding them. So I've got this, this is what I've collected, but I also bought 150, of them for a tenner on eBay and they're they're slightly smaller it doesn't really matter and um, and these are fillable as well but I'm just going to put them out empty so yeah I have this massive basket full of, full of them and um, to keep costs down because we are as ever on a budget I have asked that there's seven kids coming and I've asked the parents too because I think we all have one of these we baskets lying about in our house so I've asked the parents to bring a wee basket I would love to buy each of the children a wee basket and put an egg in it and um, a wee chick or a little balloon or I'd love to fill them all up and make them a wee gift like bunny ears and things like that but um, yeah to keep costs down I've asked parents to bring a wee bucket for them to collect their eggs in I think I have got some spares um, so that's the plan they bring their bucket they go and find their eggs. If it's outside, cool. If not, I'm just going to do it inside because there's plenty of room and actually it'd be better for Alyssa because she doesn't, she'll be able to crawl. We don't have to push her in the wheelchair. Um, so she'll have a blast. So they're bringing their bucket. I'm hiding all the eggs for them. And then I've asked the parents, I hope this is not too cheeky. I don't think anybody's, well, none of my friends mind, um, to bring an egg to exchange for the children's collected eggs at the end of the hunt. So they all have a wee prize, but everybody's bought their kid and own. You would buy your kid an Easter egg anyway. So for my two, Alyssa, who's obsessed with purple, has got a purple bunny. I was gonna buy her a big fancy egg. She's already got about four. I'll end up eating the chocolate. I've already eaten one. Um, Alyssa doesn't eat a lot of chocolate, but if it's there, she'll eat it. So I'd rather she had fruit for snacks. So that's enough for a wee, there you go, well done, you've done your Easter egg hunt. And it's purple, so she will be delighted. And for Freddie, I was really pleased to find this. It's a Paw Patrol, which is awesome. They did have, this from Home, Bar Home Bargains, I think it was 2 or one ninety nine, dollars um, And they had My Little Pony ones as well, I think. But it's a Paw Patrol egg. However, inside it, it's a craft egg. It contains four markers, four crayons, two ink pads, stampers, finger paint pots and 10 colouring sheets. So it's something he can completely have instead of a chocolate or um, a biscuit or a cake that I've made that's completely different to the other kids getting eggs and chocolate. This is an egg, so he will be chuffed and it's a plastic one. I can refill this with stuff next year. I love reusing stuff. So I was really chuffed with that and I think he'll be delighted. So that's my two, their eggs to exchange at the end of the hunt. Um, and was going to do some painting of eggs with the kids, especially if it's bad weather. I can't really be bothered boiling eggs, but I did have a wee um, look on Pinterest and we have a nice tree out the front that I wanted to decorate with beautiful salt dough eggs. I'm not really up in, I'm not really, the idea is there, but it's not, I mean, they're not beautiful, <laughs> but they're eggs and they're painted. I was going to do polka dots or whatever. Ugh. Um, so I have an egg just fell down. Um, I have a few of these to decorate outside with because they don't have to be perfect if they're outside. Um, but what I did was keep back some unpainted ones and I thought I would have had the kids make them but they take two hours in the oven so I thought the kids could paint these eggs and take them home. So we have some eggs for painting, although they're not from chickens. 
Um, I'd also hope to have some chicks on the go for the kids to have a look, but my although my rooster is doing his job, none of my girls are feeling broody yet, so they're not looking after the eggs, so no chicks will be. Um, but they'll still, the kids all love the chickens, so they'll love to go and have a look. Um, so the last thing I bought was some balloons to decorate the garden and inside just some Easter colour balloons. So I've really not spent that much money, certainly under 20 quid. I bought some stuff because I'm going to make cakes so that the kids can all come in and have a cake as a wee snack um, and the mums. So I got some mini eggs and but I've got everything else I've got anyway. So we'll all have a wee cake, then we'll maybe do the Easter egg hunt and then come in. Maybe they'll paint their wee egg and then have their lunch. Um, which I've also, again, I hope this is not too cheeky, but I find it's so much easier when I'm going about with Freddy. To, I always take a packed lunch for him because I never know where we are, if they have stuff he can have and things. So quite often when I meet up with my friends for lunch over the holidays or for doing something, going to parks, we always just do packed lunches. And it's so much cheaper than going to a wee cafe where you easily spend 30 quid on a coffee and cake for everybody. So we, in the summer, got into just doing packed lunches all the time. So the kids are all bringing their own packed lunch so it'll be food that they like um, and if they want sweets they can have sweets or if they want fruit they can have fruit so and it, it's super easy for me we'll just plunk the kids down with their wee pack lunches and they can have their lunch before they go so um, yeah it's really it's just a nice day for all the kids to run about and play together it's not a huge amount of effort into it I'm, I could make it amazing I'm sure but <laughs> who wants to do that it's just the amount of fun that they're going to get I don't need to make everything matching and you know I don't need to decorate the whole house I've got some eggs hanging up and ticks and my bunting um, and but I think the main the main event is basket collecting eggs kids love that especially these are all quite little kids so they're all kind of four and under so um they just love putting things in a wee basket, don't they? So I'm really looking forward to it. I hope the weather's nice, but if it's not, we're just going to do it inside and it'll be just as much fun. And at least the mums can sit down and have a coffee. Um, we'll see. <laughs> so yeah, that's my really basic, simple, not a lot of hosting in it, um, plan for our Easter hunt.